everybody, Landscaper Alonzo here. Hey, I wanted to check in and give everybody a summer tip. This is something I do every year, and uh, I do get asked about it a little bit. Um, people want to know what the potted plants are by the pool and by the front door. And um, I'm going for super fast, super low maintenance, super quick, um, easy to do. That's kind of what I'm, I'm going for. So I want to show you what I use, and um, I know there's a lot of different ways to do potted plants, potted outdoor plants, but uh, I'm going to show you what I do. So I went and got four of these today. Let's see if I can get this up here. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, these are called uh, diplodenias, and they come in all kinds of different colors. They come in uh, this deep red, they come in white, uh, pink. There may be some other variations, but the ones I've used are this deep red, white, and pink, and they all do really well. Uh, they need full sun, so all summer long they'll do great. They'll do great. It's May right now here in Texas, early May. They will do great from now until, you know, August or September. They really will if you just water them about once a week. They, uh, they like the heat, and that's why I like them. So one thing that's cool about these is um, I, I get these at Home Depot. And it's almost like cheating, it's so easy. Um, I'll show you what I do to plant them, but you basically just take them out of this plastic that they're in and drop them in the pot and put some potting soil around it. And it's, it's that simple. So I love these like just drop in the pot kind of plants because they're so quick and easy. And they're, uh, like I said, they do great in Texas. So uh, let me show you how I do it, it's really easy. Okay, and here are the materials you need. Uh, you need your potted plant. And I got the, uh, the smaller version here. Uh, these were 31 almost $32 a piece so I wouldn't call that inexpensive but they do really great and um, they also come with uh, some other kinds of tropical plants planted with them in a lot of the different pots you can choose a lot of different varieties I don't even know what that's called but I know those do well in the Sun uh, you need your little hand shovel you need some potting mix I don't know if the brand really matters. I just I usually get what's on sale or what's cheap, but Figaro or Scott's are pretty good. One lesson I learned the hard way years ago was it's got to be potting mix. You can't use um, garden soil because garden soil is too heavy for a pot and it won't drain. So you need to use a, uh, a good potting mix for your potted plants. Then I always have like a little, you know, bucket or trash can around because as you see, a weed has, has grown in my pot, so I gotta take him out and kinda cultivate the soil a little bit and clean that up. So really, that's all you need. So let's get to planting. Okie doke, let me show you how easy this is. First thing we need to do is get this nasty, nasty weed out of here. This guy just naturally grew from the, I guess over the, the early spring, the winter and early spring, and I never did anything about it, but there he goes. Another little weed here. Now this is potting soil from last year. You know, it's, it's still okay. You see how loose it is, so that's still pretty nice. But what you need to do is figure out how high your plant's gonna be. So, if I move some of the soil around and just kind of estimate, okay, if I put this guy in here about like that, you know, I found that if the level of the soil in the plant is maybe, you know, a couple of inches below the edge of the pot, that's good because when you water, you don't get a bunch of soil that washes over the, the edge of your pot. So we'll, we'll go for that. But I will need to put some new soil in here around the, the new plant. So we're going to put it in about like that. So whenever you're getting these plants out of the pots, I found if you just kind of give them one of those all the way around, just kind of gently, it makes it a lot easier for the plant to come out. Now this is the part you got to be, be a little careful with, you know when you're kind of tugging on the plant, you just want to be real gentle. You see the root ball there? You see how it's grown up against the edge of the pot? 
So some people, they like to take their hand shovel and kind of, they call score the root ball or just kind of <laughs> massage the root ball gently. But you just want to loosen up the roots just a little bit. You know, you don't want your root ball to crumble, but just loosen them up just a little bit. Well, that's fine. Take my little tag out of there. Now I have a space around the, the plant. That I'm going to fill in with my topsoil, or my uh, potting soil. Not topsoil, don't use topsoil. Potting soil. We're gonna go all the way around. That's all there is to it. Uh, at this point, you could do a little fertilizer if you wanted to. Um, you know, for potted plants, I, I usually don't. These diplodenias, they'll grow up to be twice the size by the end of the summer. I mean, they grow up, they get really full, and these things bloom all summer long. So, highly recommend these guys if you have an area that is full sun. These need full sun all day. <laughs> 